All right, a hanging bag versus a freestanding bag, which is better for at-home use? My name is Tommy from Fight Camp, and today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of each of these options. Now, a hanging bag is typically what you'd see in any boxing gym you go to. 99% of the bags are gonna be hanging from some sort of rack or a beam or something like that, but it's not always the best option for the at-home user, of course, okay? We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of the freestanding bag and the hanging bag. We're gonna start with the pros of a hanging punching bag. Now this, I'm gonna admit to you, is my favorite option by far. I love hitting a bag that is a hanging bag. When I was a kid, I used to have one of these actually at home, hung down in my basement. It was hung from a main support beam, and I used to hit it all of the time. Some of the pros of this that I really like is that it's very durable, very reliable. So if you're putting in work on this bag, you can rely on it being there, okay? And the feel of hitting a hanging bag is superior, in my opinion, to most other bags. Another thing that I really like is that with the swing and the movement of a hanging bag, you can really manipulate it like another body, work on your skills. The fact that it's hanging causes you to have to make little adjustments in footwork and with your punches, it's just a lot more realistic. Okay, now for the cons of a hanging punching bag. Like I said, I used to have one hung at home and my mother used to want to kill me when I would go down the basement and hit the bag. That's one of the biggest cons is the noise that it makes. So if you drill this thing up into the main support beam of your house or into the wall, every time you hit it, boom, boom, that's all you're gonna hear. The whole house is gonna shake. You're gonna hear a ton of noise. Pictures, if they're not like properly hung on the wall, they're gonna fall the glass is gonna break. So noise, vibration, all that. Another con is that you gotta you got set it up. So you gotta find a way to drill into a support beam. You can see what we have here. It's kind of rigged up to like a big steel support beam. Most people don't have things like this in their house. So they're gonna have to drill into you know studs or something like that. You need the tools, ton of setup time. There's a ton of risk that you don't do it right. It becomes dangerous and it falls. So that's definitely a big con right there is the setup. Also, with this kind of bag. You have the noise, you have the setup. One thing that you'll see is that people hit it so much up top over time, all the stuffing gets packed down into the bottom of the bag and then you finally throw that body punch. Whoosh, no good, all that stuffing gets down there, it's hard as a rock. And then finally, with some of these hanging bags, this is one from uh, Modest Vintage. They come, you see the picture when you buy it, it's full, it came, came to us completely empty. So we had to find stuff to stuff it with. That was a little bit of a disappointment. They're not all like that, but that is a con you have to look out for. Now for the pros and the cons of a freestanding bag for at-home use. All right, so for the pros, I mean the first pro is that you don't have to drill into your wall and like permanently install it and buy all these tools and stuff like that. That's definitely a big pro. Another big pro is that it's versatile. So let's say you have it taking up a little bit of space when you're working out, but you need that space. You can easily move this thing into a corner, roll it into the corner of a room or up against the wall. That's a huge, huge pro. Another huge pro is that if you get a sturdy one, we have the fight camp bag right here. It gets filled with 350 pounds of sand. So it's really difficult to move when it's filled properly it's really reliable and it doesn't make a ton of noise like the hanging punching bag does. It doesn't shake your entire house if you fill it properly. Now that's not the case with all freestanding bags. If you get a less reliable version, it is gonna shake around a lot more and it might even get knocked down, which takes me to the cons of a freestanding bag for home use versus a hanging bag. The number one con to me is that a lot of the freestanding bags on the market, they just don't stand up to punches. You can either knock them over, or every single punch that you throw, it will come up off the ground, slam onto your ground, so you're getting sort of that same noise problem that you have with the hanging bag, and at the same time, you don't have a reliable mass to hit. So that's definitely one of the cons. You have to watch out for which freestanding bag you do purchase when you purchase a freestanding bag, because if you get the wrong one, you're gonna be making a ton of noise, and it's not gonna be a lot of fun. Another big con with freestanding bags, just like with the hanging bag, is the setup. Now with the hanging bag, you need tools, you need to drill into your wall, all that. With the freestanding bag, it's different. With this one, my least favorite part of this bag, by far, is that you need to fill it up with sand. So you gotta go to a Home Depot or something like that, Lowe's, whatever, you gotta buy sand. 
This took four bags of sand. You have to, this comes off, there's a tiny little hole, you get a funnel, you pour the sand in there, it can take you like an hour. And that doesn't even include just going to uh, Home Depot to get the sand. So that is a huge con of a freestanding bag. Probably the biggest con by far. So in conclusion, there's not gonna be one bag that's a perfect fit for everybody. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what's the best fit for you, but I hope this video where I highlighted some of the pros and cons of the hanging bag, pros and cons of the freestanding bag for home use, I really hope it helps you make a good decision. Now for me, my personal favorite, like I said, even though this is the bag that we sell at Fight Camp, I do love this bag a lot. My personal favorite is the hanging punching bag. But unfortunately, in my current living situation, it's not possible for me to have one of these anchored into my wall, hung up at home, so I don't have one. I have the Fight Camp bag at home. I put in work, I love it. It's not my personal number one favorite, but it's, it's really good. It's a good solid option. I hope this video helped you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know if there's any other topics that you'd like us to cover, and I'll see you in the next video.